the public has continued to feel the pinch as fuel prices have continued to skyrocket. Currently, a liter of petrol goes between 6,000 to 6,400, while diesel between 5,900 to 6,250 shillings at various fuel pumps across the country. So our people have difficulties with accessing, you know, medical care because they have to use the, you know, the border border transport. The country, we are able to know at any point in time the volumes of petroleum supply that we have in the country. How far has the ministry gone with digitizing that information so that on a daily basis we know how much fuel we have in the country? The Minister of State for Minerals, Peter Lokaris, has addressed Parliament on government's approach to arrest the fears of fuel crisis by maintaining a smooth supply chain. Minister Lokaris notes that among the actions is to allow the market forces of demand and supply to continue determining the prices of fuel relating to the constraints brought by Russia, Ukraine war and post-COVID-19 effects among others. The legislators think otherwise, arguing that government can control the prices. The high demand for ships, yet during the lockdown, businesses, business was slow and new ships were not being manufactured. No. How come that we can have in Kampala, she only 7,000. In Bale, she only 5,500. In Soroti, she only 6,000. Government is to continue with consultations with various stakeholders in Kenya to keep the supply route of fuel active. Minister Lokeris asserts that Mahati Infra Uganda Limited has advanced a system of supplying through Lake Victoria after it secured a storage facility of 72 million litre capacity. Assembling of the first batch with capacity of 4.5 million litres has also been completed and is ready to transport the fuel. Please make sure you economize. President Museveni told us to kekereza to economize. So all, all ministers, including members of parliament, we should, we should start now economizing, economizing fuel. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, asked the Committee of Energy and Natural Resources to pick up the matter and guide accordingly in a period of one week. It might be not satisfactory for us to only have the minister here. He needs a backup. What we need are clear answers. And some of them are held by technical people. Then also the leader of opposition and the shadow minister for energy will go and give alternatives when they are prepared. And then the committee will bring a report which we shall discuss here. We shall give it enough time. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.